This is Duke University. Shining a laser on a painting can help identify the layers of paint brushed on by an artist. In their collaboration, art conservator William Brown from the North Carolina Museum of Art and Duke scientist Tana Viafania are using a laser analysis system on this 14th century depiction of the crucifixion. I mean, you should think of you know, paintings as like a layer cake. For example, in this painting, the blue, which we've identified as lapis lazuli, is very pure. So it's a very thick layer of um, lapis lazuli on a, a ground layer, or the, the Italians call it a gesso. But the blue cross up here looks a little darker. And we think that it's a thin layer of uh, lapis and black mixture glazed over top of a blue layer to give this um, sort of muted effect. When we get a painting, we put the painting into the microscope, we hit it with the lasers and the light scatters back so we can collect this backscattered light and basically we look at intensity changes in the backscattered light to map out these uh, pigment specific signatures. You can do this in three dimensions by sending your focus down deeper into the paint. It's a very complex um, you know, development in how this was, this painting was composed and then how it was uh, constructed. And the more we understand that, the more we can distinguish it from you know, a forgery, but also we could distinguish um, Puccio from Giotto or some, maybe a, uh, a painter who painted after Puccio. And what's interesting about the system we have now is it was developed for something completely different. With no changes to how the system is set up, we image both mice with skin grafts and also 14th century <laughs> paintings. We've looked at a lot of blue pigments and we've looked at paintings, but our technique can be used for all sorts of different things, um, from pottery and paintings, and I'm sure we could fit an old book under there. And We've got some books, too. <laughs> <laughs> Produced by Duke University. Online at duke.edu.